happy today? Yes. Are you happy in the Lord? Yes. What a great privilege to be here and to be able to literally, Lanny, look into a camera and realize there are people around the world that God has ordained and he's put his anointing of his Holy Spirit that had them turn on the channel today. Amen. Not some other time, but right now while this program is on. So I know God has something special for you today. We all know that he has something special for us. But we know that he has something special for you today. Whatever that need is, God can supply your every need. Such a privilege to be here. We have some, our, I'm going to call it, I don't want to say old group. i got women here. I'm going to have, you know, our regular three ABN group. But we have some new faces. So I think we'll start, maybe I'll just start with new faces. Lori Carruthers, it's so great to have you here. Thank you. And uh, you hail all the way from where? Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas. All right. We're glad that you're here. First Thank time you. on three ABN as far as being here to the studios, right? Yes. Yeah, I think you were on Lanny's Diamond Jubilee thing, all right, she did that. And then back over here, we have Lake, Jones Lake. How are you doing? I'm doing great, it's good to be here. I saw Lake on a video and I said, we gotta get that guy up here. Well, of course, Tim knew him, we're friends, and what a great guy, and thank you for being here today. Appreciate you. And of course, the rest of you, I should come back to Lanny, but I'm gonna go to Marita first, Marita Webster. I mean, she's got to be a favorite of everybody. And thank you so much, Marita, for being here and for what you do and have done for so many years for the cause of God. I love doing it for the Lord. And we love having you here at 3 ABN. And I love you in the Lord personally, Yvonne and I. And uh, we think the sun rises and sets on you, you know. And uh, Melody, <laughs> too. I think I can speak for you, too, right? Melody, all of us. And Melody grew up, of course, singing y'all's music. Lanny Wolf, it's good to have you here today. And of course, the songs that we're doing and the music, all of it, written by Lanny Wolf with the help, a couple songs, a few other people, but mostly Lanny Wolf. And uh, so we give you credit for all the good parts and anything <laughs> bad, we, we take the credit for that. But uh, we're so glad that you're here, Pastor John Loma King and Lady Love Smith. And guess who's with her today? Reggie. All right. Hey, Reggie. All right. 
I'm glad Reggie could come down, you know, from the Gaither thing, you know, he's oh, with please. the with please. the vocal band and would come down and humble himself oh. to be with us with us regular people here. No, I'm I'm just kidding. Reggie is one of the most humble people that I've ever met. He and Lady Love, some of the greatest talent too that God has put on this earth. Thank you all for being here so much. We love you, you know. Of course, my wife Ivana, don't have to introduce her. Standing there, my daughter Melody. Melody Shelton Firestone, Tammy Shelton Chance, and Lisa Yeager, we're so glad you're here. Tim Parton's way back here, and one of the greatest uh, piano players in, in uh, America and the world, and Ryan Day, our own Ryan Day. Thank you, Ryan, for being here. And uh, who did I leave out, anybody? Pastor, no, I said Pastor John earlier, didn't I? I think we're all, I think we're here. So today, sit back and enjoy. In fact, if you know these songs, sing them with us. Where are we going, Lanny? What are we doing next? I know that I could never love him enough, but I'm sure going to try. <laughs> I know that I could never love him enough, but I'm sure going to try. I know that I could never love him enough, but I'm sure going to try. If I would start right now and do nothing else until the very day that I die. I know that I could never love him enough, but I know that I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never love him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never Love him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. If I would start right now and do nothing else until the very day that I die, I know that I could never love him enough, but I know that I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never Praise him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never praise him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. If I would start right now and do nothing else until the very day that I die, I know that I could never praise him enough, but I know that I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never praise him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. I know that I could never praise him enough, but I'm sure gonna try. If I would start know that I could never raise him enough, but I know that I'm sure gonna try. Amen. Wonderful. We're trying. All right. <laughs> All right. I often wonder why God didn't choose an easy way to pay my debt of sin and set me free. But to prove his great love, the Savior chose the hardest way 
on Calvary's tree. All of his life he gave for me. I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna love him all of my life. I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna love him all of my life. If he cares for the lilies that grow wild in the field, and if his heart is touched each time a sparrow falls, how much more can I trust him to care for his own? How much more will he answer when I call? I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. All of Of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. For surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. There's a holy hush around us as God's glory fills this place. I've touched the hem of his garment. I can almost see his face. And my heart is all Flowing with the fullness of his joy, I know without a doubt that I have been with the Lord. For surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. 
I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven all around me in this place. I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven all around me in this place in this Gives me 
courage to keep pressing on. There's a fresh touch of desire in my soul today. There's a fresh touch of desire to go. That was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I believe it was David says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. So you have to have a fresh touch of desire because it's Satan's job to try to get us off, off the course, to get us burdened down, take the joy, steal the joy from us. But thank God we have a fresh touch of desire every today to make it. Uh, Paul is standing behind us. Just keep pushing. <laughs> Uh, probably just several weeks ago, it was a uh, an award show, and I don't remember who it was, not important, don't remember what the award was, so he was holding the trophy in his hand, and he said, oh, and I want to thank all the industry people that I have to thank, otherwise they'll kick me out of the company. He didn't say it that way, but that's what he meant. Went down the list of all the execs, and then he said, and I want to thank my family and my children and uh, my wife of 30 years who captured my heart. Okay. Uh -oh. yeah, right. I turned off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you've captured my heart. Here am I, surrendered completely all the days of my life. Nothing and no one can tear us apart, Jesus. You have captured my heart. Let's try it. Jesus, you captured my heart. Here am I. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I hope God has captured all of our hearts today. And I hope you who are listening today will just really press in to the throne of grace and ask him if he's not in your heart, ask him to come in today. But if it's been a while since you communicated with him, please begin today. We're living in a very special time. 
It's called the end time. And we're at the back of the Bible. Things are happening all around us. And it's no time to play. It's time to mean business. Get your mind made up like we've been singing. And let him capture your heart. If he's captured it, you can't get distracted so easily. And your mind will just stay on him. And you'll want to be ready at whatever time. That wonderful time that we're looking for. I can hear the sounds of his coming everywhere. In the headlines resounding by the score. It may be another earthquake or just another war but to every child of god it means something more and when i hear the sound of marching hear the sound of battle cry then i know summer breeze as I see the Lord restore Jerusalem and I can hear a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind as God pours his spirit out upon the just here, but everywhere, then I know it's almost over, I can feel it in the air, and I can hear the sounds of His coming everywhere. be happy by now right i want to be in the middle of that i want to be ready can you even comprehend no we can't we can't yeah. comprehend yeah. what it's going to be like when the trumpet sounds That's right. and we're caught away wow mm -mm -mm. uh get excited about this next song which simply says behold i come quickly now uh this was actually a sign danny kind of uh threw it out first of all we did. to a, a, an a-lister <laughs> and the A-lister didn't kind of feel anything for it, so he said, well... I didn't mean for you to be the B team. Well, but. so then the B team came in, <laughs> and we were having a meeting, and so I said, well, let me just see if I feel something. And I just 
right now. This is the fastest song that God now has ever given Let me tell me. the whole story. The rest the of the story. The whole story, the truth and the truth only, all right, <laughs> yes. was we were going to co-write this song, right? Oh, that's Behold, I come quickly. So I told Lanny, I've got something here I want to come and show you. So I got my little, rec naively got my little recorder out and sang it a little bit and had some chords on it. And I said, I'm going to go over and show Lanny and see if he, you know, we've written some songs, Lori, where we co-write. I'll do a verse and the music and the chorus, and then he'll come and add to it. So I said, that's what we'll be doing here, right? <laughs> so I got my little, told Lanny, I'm coming over. Take me about 15, 20 minutes at most. Okay, so I walk in the door. I pull out my recorder, put it on the table. He says, just before you do that, I was working on this before you came in. Uh, let me show you what I got. And it was so good, I put my recorder back in my pocket. He, and, and he's like, how do you like? I said, no, you don't have to hear mine. I think this is fine. So great song, Lanny, and, and great job. And the Lord really blessed. But it's all, it's Bible. Behold, I come quickly. Revelation, right at the end. That's the, that's the victory that we get as Christians. So we look, we've read the back of the book, as we always said, and it says we win. Amen. And so praise the Lord. Behold, I come quickly. And all we have to do is accept that free gift that Jesus gave us on the yes. cross of Calvary, yes. right? Yes. Gift Absolutely. of salvation, submit and commit our lives to him, and then go and tell what he's done for us. He says, go ye into all the world. And that's really what we're doing here. And you at home, you can go into all the world. Maybe it's your, it's, it's your family. Maybe it's your neighbors. Somebody at the gas station, wherever, that's all the world to you. Depends where we are. That's all God expects us to do. So today... We want you to be ready. We want to be ready because we believe Jesus is coming soon. And when he comes, it says every eye, every eye shall. So isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's not something we've heard about this secret rapture, secret. No, no, the Bible says every eye shall see him. Right. And the sounds you just said, it's going to crescendo. It's going to be big because when Jesus comes back to this earth, the biggest event in the history of the world. And I look right. forward to it. Amen. And I know you do too. Amen. Who's singing this, Lanny? Uh, all the men who sang it on the Give Him Glory okay. project. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and uh, so of all the wonderful songs on the Give Him Glory project, of all the wonderful songs, Yvonne, my sister says her favorite is Behold, I Come Quickly, <laughs> dedicated to my sister Sharon. This is for you, Sharon, the favorite on Give Him Glory project. I came on a mission from my heavenly home To die on a cross for sins to atone I went away, I said I'd come back someday Just keep looking up to the skies, watch and pray Behold, I come quickly in the twinkling of an eye Coming for a bride, or open wide, no man knows the day, so keep your heart right, for behold I come quickly, like a thief in the night. So pray without ceasing, keep your lamps burning bright, for I'm coming soon, could be morning, noon, or night. In a moment, you think not, the trumpet will sound, and those who are ready will be heaven bound. Behold, I come quickly in the twinkling of an eye. Coming for a ride, all robed in white. No man knows the day, so keep your heart right. For behold, I come quickly, like a thief in the night. Thief in the night. Deep in the night I'm God and I'm sovereign I am that I am The first and the last The lion and the lamb I'm Alpha, Omega 
sing beginning and the end read the back of the book i'm coming again Until he comes after us and comes for us, we're going to just keep praising his name and we give you all the glory and all the praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord, your word.
very special song that God gave me. His grace is still amazing. This is one of those special songs where I actually argue with God because of the nature of the reason why the song was written. I question God as to why his grace would be extended to certain people in their situation that I thought God should never have extended grace. And I'll never forget, we were actually asked to do the music for this person's funeral. I didn't want to do it because I just didn't feel comfortable because that person in their situation didn't pass my smell test for grace. <laughs> so who are you? So I'll never forget, Yvonne, in the middle of the night, God woke me up and he said, excuse me, what do you have to bring to the bargaining table? He said, I've not promised you tomorrow either. And whether it's 30 years or 90 years, your life is no more valuable at 90 than 30. You have no more to give me. And so God just poured a big dose of grace understanding in my heart. And so because of that, I did the music for the funeral and I wrote the song, His Grace is Still Amazing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. The grace that caught my falling soul one day with two precious nail scarred hands. And his grace is still amazing to me. Oh, to me. And That's been broken and scarred by sin. Take a life that has so little to offer him. Oh, then take it, take it to Jesus. Will he turn it away? Still says, come unto me today. And his grace is still amazing to me. And for as long as I shall live, it will
when I first heard of Jesus, his love and his grace, my heart was overwhelmed to think of he would take my place. I cried, Lord, I'll go with you every step of the way. Oh, that's all I can do. My debt to repay, and I love you. Just what tomorrow has in store. But where two or three are gathered, God has promised to be there. So now in faith believing, we lift your name in prayer. acquainted with grief and sorrow the Lord knows just how much you can bear he's laid you on our hearts so now we lift you up in prayer You're
reminds me many years ago, there was an evangelist came to West Frankfurt, our big city, about nine or 10,000, set up a tent back when they used to set up tents. And he had a, a man that worked behind the scenes, never was out front. He was making cassettes back in those days. Anybody remember cassettes? You don't back there, but the rest of us do. And to remember cassettes. And he was a volunteer and I was in construction at the time. And I said, what do you do? And he said, I'm a construction worker. And I said, well, how often do you travel? He said, as often as I can. I said, well, how do you make a living? He said, well, I've got my priorities straight. He said, let me tell you a little story. He said, years ago, my daughter Heidi, she was just four years old and she fell. And, and, and she hurt her head really bad and they had to put a, what do you call it? A, like a shunt, a shunt in her head. And she was in a coma. They didn't know if she would live or what would happen. And so they finally took her home from the hospital, but she was, I think, unconscious for quite a while. And, and I don't know if it's days and weeks went by. They prayed for her. They did everything, everything they could for her. But they said nothing seemed to, to work. One morning, man says, I went in and to, to, I heard Heidi. And Heidi was up in bed and she said, Daddy, I'm hungry. He said, it scared me so bad. I said, What's, she must, maybe she's going to die. He, he grabbed her, put a coat on her, went to the hospital to make sure because how could she be okay? So they took her to the hospital. When she got to the hospital, they said, I don't know. It's, she, everything's fine. They took it off, everything off of her took her home and it was a, a miracle so they were talking about it and little four-year-old Heidi said get this they said Heidi we don't know what happened but you, you're healed and she said well daddy last night Jesus came into my room she said he touched me with his hand family went off Friends of theirs was missionaries overseas. The parents had told the story. Thirteen years later, they come, came back. Heidi's now 17. The missionary family said, Heidi, there's something we've been wanting to ask you for 13 years. When you were little, do you remember? You said Jesus came in to your room, and he touched you with his hand, and he healed you. Yes, I, I remember. They said, here's the question we've been waiting all these years to ask you face to face. How big is Jesus' hand? Without flinching, Heidi said, it was big enough to cover my whole body. Somebody hear that? God's hand is big enough to cover your whole body. God's hand is big enough to cover everything in your life that Satan has tried to take away from you. All the joy that he's trying to steal from you. Don't worry about it. God's hand is big enough. He will move Satan out of the way. All you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. Please come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. God will bring you a peace and a joy that passeth all understanding. I promise you, if you try Jesus, you'll never be sorry. Everybody here, you've all tried Jesus. Would you go back in the world? I Yvonne used to sing in the world, and she made a lot of money, Lanny, singing, but, <laughs> but she used to sing world. Would you trade that for this? Oh, no. Never? No, never. Right. never. 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 Nothing can compare. Nothing can compare. The, the, the peace and joy that you have singing for Jesus, doesn't, it doesn't compare with anything else. There's nothing better than singing for the Lord. All right. Put your life in God's hands. John, would you pray for us? Father in heaven, we have come to put ourselves under the almighty hand of God, illustrated so beautifully through Heidi's experience. But each one of us has felt a touch from your healing hand. You brought us out of the darkest places. You've rescued us from the ferocious attempts of the enemy. And this afternoon, Father, we give our voices to lift and praise you. But Lord, more than our voices, we pray that our lives will be a, a sweet-smelling savor in your presence. We pray that what we do, Lord, will surely remind us that we are in the presence of not only a holy God, but a God who wants to touch us and heal us. Lord, extend this touch through the television to somebody's heart, through the radio, that you'll bring healing and strength to their lives today. We ask in your holy and precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Our time is all gone for today, but until we see you next time, may the Lord richly bless you abundantly more than you could ever ask or think.
Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord 